All right. I know I caved. I'm doing a vlog. I really give in to Twitter, Twitter fear pressure really easily. It took only two tweets. Since you usually see me in my fashion posts, I thought it'd be refreshing, maybe a slight change, um, to see me in my pajamas and how I am in the morning. I don't know. I think I'm just lazy. Really, I think it's really just laziness. I really just can't be bothered. It's 9 a.m. in the morning and I really don't feel like putting hair or makeup on, but you know what? I gotta shoot, shoot this. So, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I did. I did, however, put on a bra for you guys. On Twitter, I got some questions about posing, and um, I'm assuming since it's from, I'm just guesstimating from the people that it's coming from, that the questions are regarding portrait posing, you know, natural portraits, about me landing pages, that kind of a thing, that you're really just looking for something easy and simple and natural and carefree looking, not like high fashion vogue editorial creative concept shoots. So, here's some tips. The main one, and this is the overriding for everything else, the main headline of this is keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep it natural. Really, um, I recommend um, people watching. Just notice how people are standing, notice how people are, are put, where people are putting their hands when they're relaxed, when they're casual, and they're just looking around. Um, and you'll see how, you'll start to notice patterns of how people stand and hold themselves. Also, pay attention to how people's posture changes when they see somebody that they really are excited to see and happy to see, because posture does change, and maybe bring some of that into some of your pictures. Brr. Read magazines, look at magazines, see how they're standing, you definitely want to look at the, the natural ones, not the creative concept poses, but look at magazines. Next, I recommend channeling Tyra Smith from America's Next Top Model. Uh, just play, really play. It's digital now, so you, if you need one portrait, you can take 25, 30, 40, doesn't matter. You can delete all the other ones and nobody ever has to see them except you. One major thing, um, work your angles. Nobody, no woman looks great straight on, like square straight on. So. If you're sitting in a chair with your hips straight on, twist your body, you know, tilt, wiggle, maybe lean back, just twist, create some kind of angle, even this, like this is straight on, even just leaning to the side here, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, then if you can, twist your lower half, uh, uh, most of us women have self-conscious issues about our hips, and hips always look better slightly on an angle, so just, you know, Tilt to the side, lean forward, maybe. And then the attention is to your face as opposed to your legs. If you're, if that's you know, if that's an area that you're sensitive about, or if you just don't really care to draw attention to your butt. If it's a head and shoulder shot, like just here and, and here, then again, you don't want to be square on. You want to tilt your head, tilt up, tilt your shoulders. Maybe do something like this. It's just honestly just playing with angles and taking tons of shots. You'll get to know what your best angles excuse me, you'll get to know what your best angles are after time, slowly, 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 and then you'll be able to hit it within, you know, five shots, that sort of thing. I have two no-fail tricks. The first one, hands on hips, hands in belt loops. The second one, uh, weight on one leg. Nobody ever stands with both their weight, with their weight evenly distributed on two legs. And if they do, they don't do it for a long time and it doesn't look so great. So always shift one, your weight to one leg. Play around, see which leg works better in which situation, etc, etc. But you always sort of want one weighted leg and one resting leg. Those are my recommendations. So if you have any other questions, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment, leave them as a comment on this post. And I can't guarantee it, but maybe there'll be a second vlog if there's enough popular demand. Okay.